Hey guys, train guy here back with another uh, quick update. Uh, basically I've been um, getting a few questions about the board and people are asking. Uh, I thought it was 12 tiles when you, or 16 tiles when you started, but you only seem to be focusing on 12. Uh, that's just because the table only really holds uh, 4x3, so um, I basically worked on the top three rows, but uh, I since dropped the top row and moved everything up, so here is the bottom row. Indeed, it is included in the board. Uh, so don't think that it uh, is taken off. As you can see, that's basically where you've seen up to. So all I've done now is just extend the painted uh, sections. This will be where the walls are going to go. Um, two dark patches. Uh, these are going to be bocage lines. I decided not to extend these all the way to the end because I want to make the board accessible, at least in part, uh, along the back. Um, so... <clears throat> that's going to be um, able to be accessed by trucks and uh, things quite easily like guns etc uh, to get by there um, what I will do is <clears throat> excuse me I will put an opening probably in here uh, that way again like I talked about before there's openings at various sections I realize this one here is going to be you're going to be basically trapped in here unless there's an opening so I'll probably put an opening in this section right here again not in line with the opening that's here so um, we'll put one there allow you to access this area via truck uh, this one here is just going to be um, only accessible uh, by tanks or infantry no trucks can go in this one and then here again there's an access here so um, I don't think that's going to isolate too much of the board uh, so I think that's fair this one here is going to be bordered by wall, so again, um, you just got to be, uh, you got to suck it up and deal with it. Uh, uh, guns weren't really uh, moving around a lot in Bocage country. They were really uh, positioned for ambush. So basically the setup is where they're going to stay, and you need to set them up in, in a way that you can uh, maximize their, their range. So I extended this little bit out here, and I thought that would be a great spot to put a gun sort of facing or guarding this uh, sort of access point of the road. Um, again, right here might be a nice spot to set up a gun pointing down lane. Anybody comes across trying to jump into this will have to take a shot or two as they come across. So there's all kinds of little features. Uh, I'm setting this up for gameplay, so um, that's my intention when I'm doing it. Uh, so I'll just give you a let's zip back a bit here so you can see there's lots of pockets, lots more bocage along here. Uh, I just want to finish saying but that uh, the unpainted part, as discussed before, that'll be the road. So um, that's going to carry up through. Uh, while I was off camera, I actually put in uh, a few of the other sections. So um, here's the remaining bocage. Uh, and here's uh, the opening. I decided to make it a gated opening, so there would be a small gate across there. Again, like I discussed, it's not going to be lined up perfectly with the opening over here. So everything's set in. This just needs to be base coated. The road's going to be uh, painted uh, base color of brown, then applied the uh, ballast to that. And I'm going to continue with the bocage here and uh, go from there. So that's the update, and uh, stay tuned for the next part. Cheers.